In this video, we are going to discuss one of the important topic of IGCSE chemistry. This is uses of sulfuric acid, the contact process that is the process of making sulfuric acid which is world widely used and then the equilibrium conditions needed for one of its reaction involved in the contact process. So let's start with the uses of sulfuric acid where first let's understand that sulfuric acid is one of the most important chemicals used worldwide because it has various uses in many industries and one of the use which is very important is uses in making the fertilizers so most important use is making of fertilizers in ammonium sulfate and the next use is it's also used in paints pigments and dye stuffs also used in fibers and plastics soaps and detergents and one of the most important uses it's in car batteries where directly sulfuric acid is used in car batteries to produce the power for the cars okay one thing important to note down is that dilute sulfuric acid is made by adding the concentrated acid to the water and not the other way around now not the other way around is that we cannot add water to the, to the concentrated sulfuric acid to dilute it because it's going to be very very exothermic so we need to remember that whenever we dilute the sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid is added to the water slowly by stirring it this is one of the important point to note down now most of the sulfuric acid worldwide is made by an industrial process named contact process now this is worldwide process where it is industrially made on a very very large scale the raw materials needed for the contact process are sulfur air and water that's it no other raw material is needed and the sulfur required for the process can be obtained from few uh, resources that is underground sulfur beds so this sulfur can be dug out from the bed through some process and the other uh, resource or other source of sulfur is sulfide ores like zinc sulfide or lead sulfide these are the ores of uh, zinc and lead from which the sulfur is separated and so this is also one of the source of sulfur and the third source is is petroleum and natural gas now in petroleum uh, sulfur is present naturally in the uh, petroleum fractions and it is important to separate sulfur from the petroleum fractions because on burning petroleum or the petroleum products sulfur may create and pollution and may be one of the cause of acid rain so it's necessary to separate sulfur from the petroleum products and that's why petroleum is also one of the important source of sulfur now let's discuss the contact process in detail how is contact process used to produce sulfuric acid now here is the, uh, first it's a place uh, a you can see a compartment where combustion takes place now combustion of what combustion of sulfur and um, air is also introduced or added in this compartment now sulfur is added in the form of molten uh, sulfur sulfur is first heated melted and added in the compartment where air is also added for the combustion of sulfur now it's necessary that we add dry air dry air is necessary because the other parts maybe the humidity of air will create problems so dry air is needed so molten sulfur and dry is air is added where the combustion of sulfur will take place and so the reaction of sulfur with oxygen is going to produce sulfur dioxide gas now the sulfur dioxide gas produced in this compartment gets passes to the next compartment here now next compartment here is called converter this is 
कन्वर्ट अ कंपार्टमेंट नाउ कन्वर्टर इज द कंपार्टमेंट वेयर सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज कन्वर्टेड टू सल्फर ट्राईऑक्साइड फाइ फॉर द ऑक्सीडेशन बट दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन बिकॉज इट्स एन इक्विलिब्रियम रिएक्शन लेट मी राइट द रिएक्शन सेपरेटली हियर वेयर सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड इज फॉर द ऑक्सीडाइज टू सल्फर ट्राईऑक्साइड एंड इफ यू बैलेंस द रिएक्शन वी नीड टू एड टू ऑन बोथ साइड्स now so this is the converter where sulfur dioxide is converted to sulfur trioxide and so oxygen is also needed so air is further passed here but as this is an equilibrium reaction we need to maintain the conditions now what are the conditions needed for such equilibrium reaction to get the maximum yield of sulfur trioxide and to know the equilibrium reactions equilibrium conditions we need to know that the forward reaction is exothermic reaction if the forward reaction is exothermic reaction we need to maintain low temperature because the higher temperature lower will be the yield but very low temperature will decrease the rate of reaction so an optimum temperature of approximately 450 degrees celsius is used that's the temperature maintained for this equilibrium reaction other than that the catalyst most important catalyst is v2o5 that is vanadium 5 oxide vanadium 5 oxide is used as a catalyst in this reaction and you can see here these are the plates of v2o5 which are perforated plates fitted inside the converter these plates which is coated with v2o5 from here the sulfur dioxide gas is passed along with the oxygen which will help sulfur dioxide to convert into sulfur trioxide at a faster rate catalyst are meant for increasing the rate of reaction it's not going to impact the yield not going to impact the amount of product so to increase the rate and make the process more economical increasing the rate is one of the important thing because it makes the process economical so here v2o5 vanadium trioxide is used as a catalyst now the next important factor to be maintained in an equilibrium reaction is a pressure now pressure is decided by the number of molecules on both sides of the reaction and we can see that here 2 plus 1 molecules that is total of 3 molecules are present on the reactant side and on the product side we have two molecules of sulfur trioxide that shows that the number of molecules on reactant side is greater than on the product side and according to equilibrium that is lee chatelier's principle says that the side with fewer number of molecules will be favored by high pressure so if you want to get a higher yield of sulfur trioxide with lower number of molecules higher pressure should be used but still in this process only uh, the pressure of two atmospheric pressure is uh, used so at, let me add that here two atmospheric pressure is used and the reason for this is that even at lower pressure of two atmospheric pressure just higher than the room temperature uh, room pressure a uh, uh, economical yield of 98% sulfur trioxide is obtained which is good enough and so maintaining higher pressure than this makes the process even more uneconomical because maintaining high pressure is costlier also and difficult also because it may be dangerous so for this equilibrium reaction the conditions are 450 degrees celsius temperature a uh, catalyst vanadium trioxide and at uh, pressure to atmospheric pressure right so these are the conditions needed to get a good economical yield of sulfur trioxide now once the sulfur trioxide formed is then changed is passed to sulfur trioxide sulfur trioxide is passed to a converter called absorber absorber is another compartment now here sulfur trioxide is then absorbed into 98% concentrated sulfuric acid where some sulfuric acid is already present in the absorber 
now why is this done sulfur trioxide can be directly reacted with the water to get sulfuric acid but this is not done the reason being is that this process is very very highly exothermic and so the sulfuric acid obtained this way is going to be formed in the form of fine mist fine mist will be formed for the sulfuric acid obtained directly by reacting it with water now this is very difficult to condense and the mist may be very dangerous because it may be spreading into the environment around the um, industry where it is produced so to avoid this uh, danger part of the danger process Sulfur trioxide is first absorbed into 98% sulfuric acid. Now this process, the process of sulfuric, uh, sulfur trioxide getting absorbed in 98% sulfuric acid, it's going to produce another thick liquid called oleum. Now thick liquid oleum is H2H2O7. This is oleum oleum is less dangerous and it's a thick liquid another form of sulfuric acid so here in this sulf h2s2o7 that is oleum is produced in the absorber this oleum then further uh, is uh, diluted with water so a water is added in the oleum then further to get the sulfuric acid whenever needed so sulfuric acid is lastly obtained by mixing oleum with the water so this is the process by which we get the sulfuric acid and the sulfuric acid obtained this way is 98% concentrated so this is how we use contact process to get the sulfuric acid where there are three stages first is combustion second one the sulfur dioxide is converted to sulfur trioxide then the sulfur trioxide is absorbed into 98% sulfuric acid to get oleum and then oleum is further diluted with water to get the sulfuric acid now let's understand the take the list of the reactions of contact process so the first reaction taking place in the contact process is combustion of sulfur with oxygen to get sulfur dioxide Sulfur dioxide is then further oxidized to get sulfur trioxide and as we know this reaction is an equilibrium reaction so let me add a reversible sign here. The next stage of reaction here is sulfur trioxide is absorbed into 98% sulfuric acid to get oleum. So I can add 98% sulfuric acid to get the oleum. And the next and final reaction is that oleum is diluted with water to get sulfuric acid. So these are the important reaction to remember for the contact process. And uh, this is how we are going to discuss that how contact process is used to make the sulfuric acid one of the important chemical of the worldwide uses.